The loss of a service member is never easy, especially to their friends and family. The Joint Family Support Services is there to offer help and support during those difficult times. Yeah, Derek joined the uh, Texas Army National Guard when he was 17, and he signed up to do the split op training. And um, he was just um, really just a natural born little soldier. Of course, I had to sign for him. And um, after he signed up, he went off for the weekend drills. And after he graduated, then he went to AIT. He wanted to go full time. and. Um, so he signed up with, uh, to be deployed and uh, shipped off to Afghanistan. Came back um, quite a man. And so he signed up again to be redeployed and um, was supposed to be going to Iraq in either June or July. And he was uh, in an automobile accident in May. You have a tendency to just stop and not move forward. And that's really where I was. I just pretty much sat at home, you know, and I was really into depression. I was having a lot of health problems. And um, when I received the letter from the Survivor Outreach Services, it just really, it just kind of gave me a jump start, you know, just to know that there is somebody that's out there that still cares. There are services for me. When you can get connected with people that have gone through the similar things that you have, there, it's just, there's healing that comes in that. Wearing a yellow ribbon shows support for our deployed men and women, and likewise, the yellow ribbon events here at home support them and their families by making all of these services readily available under one roof. I was connected with this person at a Yellow Ribbon event. We talked about things like post-traumatic stress disorder, um, acute stress disorder, um, anxiety disorders in general, um, talked about the warning signs, talked about the symptoms, and his family was able to identify that he was living with a lot of those symptoms fairly significantly. And we were able to uh, to connect him to direct care, um, long-term care. I still have regular intervention and interaction with the soldier, with the veteran. I see him probably at least once a month. The resiliency program, um, uh, we, are, uh, we are open and willing to provide services for anyone um, that wears a uniform or any family member of that uniform. Um, that can be um, Army National Guard, it can be Air National Guard, we will see any member of their family from spouse to child to brother to sister to mother to uncle. There's, there's no protocol to reach our office, it's a phone call or an email. Do not have to go through a chain of command, do not have to fill out a permission form, don't have to call TRICARE, don't have to call your PCM, your primary care physician, anything like that. It's just a phone call or an email to us. There are no charges for our services. Um, our services are free to both service members and family members. Um, it, it's as simple as a phone call. Services like the resiliency program and even motorcycle safety courses are there for you because you are an important part of our family and even more so to those at home. And at the end of the day, we want to make sure you return home to them safely. Because riding a motorcycle is very reactive. You have to have your reflexes, you need to have everything practiced on what you want to do. You're going to have cars constantly pull out in front of you. You need to already have a plan in place, whether you're going to go right, whether you're going to go left, whether you're going to stop, whether you're going to try to stop. You need to think these things through, and that's part of what the motorcycle safety course teaches you. And like I said, I've been riding for years. I thought I knew everything. I found out my fundamentals were wrong. My basic riding skills were all wrong. My balancing was wrong, my turning was wrong. Uh, they showed me within five minutes the proper way to do that. Now I can do it no matter where I'm at. If you don't have a motorcycle, it's not an issue. They provide the motorcycles for you. So if you don't have the motorcycle riding gear, it's not an issue. They provide that for you also. So you just show up with yourself. They provide everything, and you listen to what they're teaching you. 
and become a better rider. I will not let anybody ride with me or ride around me if they don't have all their, their necessary gear. It's, it's imperative. Uh, if you've ever laid a bike down and you know how much it hurts, uh, you'll wear it. Uh, most of the people that ride in shorts and flip-flops have never laid a bike down, but they will. And then they will start wearing, if they survive, they'll start wearing boots and long pants and long sleeves and helmets and eye gear uh, to, and gloves to protect themselves. You're not invincible on this motorcycle. You're open, if you go down, you're flying off this motorcycle, you're going to hit something. Joint Family Support Services is just a simple phone call away. And on behalf of the Texas Military Forces, we'd like to thank you, the soldier, the airman, the friends and the family for serving. It's our turn to serve you. Call 1-800-252-8032. Thank you.